Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to show you how you can create doors with the Uber Radiant, which is the level editor for Star Trek Elite Force 2. First, we need some kind of opening where we can fit inside our door. Then we draw one brush that covers the entire opening. Then we load appropriate textures. I will load textures from the Dallas mission, which are listed under Textures Forever. First, I will apply the door texture to the entire brush. By clicking on Fit, the texture will align perfectly. Then, I will cut the brush into two pieces. Pressing X to activate the clipper. Each part of the door needs to be turned individually into a funk door. Select funk door with one part of the door selected. A door that consists of multiple parts will still work as one unit as long as you don't activate the checkbox door don't link. Some attributes of the door are applied to all parts even if they are just set on a single part. Which is especially true with the target name. Here are two examples that show how a multi-part door can look. It will work as if it would be one door with one part going up and the other part going down. The door needs to know in which direction it should open. Therefore, it requires an angle. You can use a info player start entity spawn location to help you figure out which angle the door needs to be set at. To have a door open upwards, use angle minus 1. To open up a door downwards, use angle minus 2. Take your time to look at the descriptions for the Funk Door Entity in the Entity menu. There are many more attributes that can be set, like move sounds, draw lip, speed, and other stuff. I will add a list of sounds to the description of this video. To have a door only open from a trigger, create a trigger use from a brush and connect it to the door. Make sure you select the trigger use first, then the door. Then press and hold the control key and K. This will connect the trigger to the door. A new line is drawn, showing that the trigger is now targeting the door. Make sure you activate the checkbox targeted for all parts of the door. Minutes remaining. Here is a quick reminder for the sizes. If this doesn't mean anything to you, take a look at the video named The Grid. You can also have rotating doors. Shown here is one rotating door with a origin brush and one without. The one without an origin brush will rotate around its center while the other one will rotate around the origin brush. The origin brush is basically the hinge of the door. It's a regular brush to which origin texture was applied. It was then selected together with the door part it belongs to and turned into funk rotating door. 
The origin texture can be found in Textures Common. One special ability of doors is to seal one area from another. As the door is closed, objects, effects and level parts behind the door are invisible to the player. They are basically graphically not computed by the client's game and therefore not computed by the client's graphics card. To enable this special ability for a door, create a new brush that fills the entire space the door occupies. This new brush needs a special texture, which is called Area Portal. The Area Portal texture can be found in Textures Common. Area portals are a structural part of the level. They need to be surrounded by structural brushes in order to work. It is best to match the size of the door. You can set a lip, which will basically limit the amount the door opens. The lip is the remainder of the door that will not go inside the wall. You can also create lifts with a funk door. This lift uses movement clip to prevent a player going under the lift and to determine the amount of travel this lift will do. Everything was selected and then turned into one funk door. So this is basically a single funk door made out of multiple brushes. It does not have multiple parts, like a door that would open into two directions. The trick here is that we have two trigger multiples targeting one trigger relay. The trigger relay, which is the red trigger, is the one that manages the lift. Remaining. This allows us to have different delays on the trigger multiples and a wait time on the trigger relay. The wait time will make sure that the lift will not suddenly change its direction because there is only one trigger relay and both triggers target this trigger relay, which will then in turn target the lift. Wait determines the amount of time this trigger will wait until it triggers again. I hope this was useful to you. See ya! Program shutting down.